but for the elite. And there are more of them every year. Life can be glorious. Wealth is rampant. And Yossi Vardy has it. He owes it, he says, to making a modest investment in an idea proposed by his young son. They called it instant messaging. That was the foundation, wasn't it? It was early, it was pioneering, it was successful. Then, after 18 months, AOL came and bought the whole company. How much? According to the press, $407 million in 1996. <laughs> Vardy is now called the godfather of what has become a vast software empire. Tel Aviv, the startup city, has more high-tech startup companies than anywhere outside Silicon Valley. It is so far ahead of the curve, you can barely see the end of it. Why does Israel have so many startups? Well, some people say it's because of the military. Some people say it's because of the universities, the level of education. Some people say it's because of the level of technology. What do you say? I say it's a cultural phenomena, and the secret sauce behind it is the Jewish mother. Every startup kid here has a Jewish mother which drive him crazy, which will push them and challenge them and inspire them. And inspire young people from all over Israel and the world to flock here for the good life. Lonely Planet, that hip travel magazine, has voted Tel Aviv the third hottest city in the world. Tel Avivians love to think of themselves as avant-garde. The art scene is vibrant. New openings every week. Fashion is cutting edge. Along with music and dance and theater. And compared to the rest of Israel, Tel Aviv is not only more cosmopolitan, but more tolerant. People seem to get along. Religious and secular, soldiers and civilians, straights and gays. In a poll published this year, the city was voted the best gay destination in the world. Those old closet makers are going out of business, and that's just fine with actress Noah Tishby. It's such a non-issue in Israel, that's the thing. Being straight or being gay is a complete non-issue. I mean, gays in the military. What's the problem? Here it's not don't ask, don't tell, it's don't ask, who cares? Who cares, exactly. Don't ask, ask, tell me, I don't care. Grab a gun, go fight, <laughs> I don't care. All Israelis, men and women, are drafted into the army when they're 18. Galushevsky did his three-year service in the late 70s. Today, he's a gay activist and a columnist for one of Tel Aviv's hippest magazines. In many parts of the world, parents, definitely including Jewish parents, are not happy when their kid turns out to be gay. Is it the same here? No, here it's a little different because, you know, Israel is a war zone. It's been a war zone for many years. It's very hard to raise a child here. They can die in the army. They can die in a suicide bombing. So the whole feeling of an Israeli parent is that it's, it's a big war to keep your kid alive till 21. So if at 22, he comes, or any age, he comes and says, OK, I'm gay, you know, this is, it's not as bad. For the most part, Tel Avivians have become fatalistic. Many feel there's just not much they can do about anything. The Arab Spring, Palestinians, and nuclear Iran. There's a lot of uncertainty now, of course, but that's all there's ever been, uncertainty. Do you ever worry that this will still be a home for your great-grandchildren? Look, I will not uh, tell you that everybody sitting here like an idiot don't worry about the, the future. We have this damn conflict that I hope we will finish one day and I hope we will do peace. But in the meantime, look what we created. You like it here? I don't like it here. I am addicted to this place. Not only like, I love it.